And hello and welcome to a new segment of Delaware State University Inside Perspective. I'm Carlos Holmes and this is the show where we talk with faculty, staff, students, alumni, and even guests from the outside about things that are going on in the world or some of the great things that are going on at Delaware State University. Today I have Dr. Steve Newton, who is the special assistant to our provost, Dr. Tony Allen. And we're going to talk about a new initiative, the Digital Learning Initiative. Dr. Uh, Newton, welcome to my show. Glad to be here, Carlos. So Thanks. what is this Digital Learning Initiative all about? What happened is this. Our university, like every university, is in the business of preparing students for the 21st century, in many cases for jobs that don't even exist yet. And one of the things we looked at is Tony Allen looked at the fact that technologically wise, we're not preparing students because our instruction is not completely digital. They're gonna be working in a career digital world. Our teaching needs to become digital. Dr. Mishu looked at the point that in today's world, when you come to Delaware State, when you go to any university, having a computer, having a tablet is not an option, it's an essential. But the quality of technology you can bring with you is too often dependent on the quality of what your parents or your family can afford. And one of the things we wanted to make a commitment to as, as Delaware State University, a premier HBCU, is an equity issue. That from this point forward for every incoming freshman and eventually all the way through our ranks, it will no longer matter what your family can afford, what you can afford. You will begin your career with the appropriate cutting edge Apple technology in a digital environment that you need to succeed. Mm -hmm. So we have distributed iPads to each one of our incoming freshmen. How many is that? We have right now, it wouldn't be fair to say we've distributed 100%. We have a, a few left. We can't distribute them until after all the students are cleared and everything. And there's always a few people who want to stay in their rooms and not come out. But we've distributed over 970 wow. iPads to incoming students, which means I think we only have about 40 or 50 students left. We're also distributing in certain majors like computer and information science, physics and pre-engineering, mass comm, art and music, they're also receiving MacBook Pros. Mm -hmm. And we're distributing that same technology to our entire faculty because it's not just a passive instruments for the students. The digital learning initiative is about allowing the faculty over the next year to convert all of their courses to a completely digital environment. Okay, so as a practical matter, let's explain that, assuming that people understand that not everybody has an iPad, okay? Uh, how is this going to benefit the student in a practical way? What, what can they do with this? Well, the simplest way is ultimately over the next year, we plan to eliminate probably 90% of all paper textbooks. The elimination of paper textbooks will allow the students to be able, right on the iPad, will allow them to be able to push their, their textbooks right to the iPad. Mm -hmm. With the apps that are on the iPad, like they come with OneNote or Evernote, or you can very cheaply buy Notability. Mm -hmm. Students can access those digital textbooks and they can actually use the Apple Pencil to write their notes directly into the digital textbook. They can actually create a blank page to write their notes mm -hmm. right in their own personalized textbook. More important, it allows the teachers to teach in a digital environment. We have people, if I'm explaining to you in a math class mm -hmm. with a smart board, how to calculate the slope of a line, okay? And I do a two to five minute demonstration and I'm drawing on the board and I'm talking. Literally this iPad, slaved to the board, mm -hmm. will allow me to capture what's going on in the board, record it along with the teacher's instructions. So that night when I'm doing my homework, mm -hmm. I'm no longer dependent on my memory or my handwritten notes. I can actually replay the actual instructions. I have it for then, I have it for studying for tests. I can set it to hone into keywords. There is a variety of time management software on it. There's, there's, there's just everything you need. So this is hooked up so that it can capture what's on the smart board from the smart. This is not taking a picture of the smart board. Right. This is directly, this is called screen mirroring. It mirrors what's on the smart board. Likewise, alternatively, what a professor could do if they have a PowerPoint, Apple's version is Keynote, but it works with either one. Mm -hmm. They can be giving a PowerPoint and they can use something called Keynote Live and actually push that PowerPoint. 
directly out to the iPads of everybody in the class. Mm -hmm. So they can actually be sitting there at their desk, they can capture it, they can make their notes on what's going mm -hmm. on. So that's one way. The other way is, you know, we've done a lot of work with digital clickers where you ask people for answers. That technology is included in here. Mm -hmm. They can take pictures, they can record, they can collaborate in class, mm -hmm. they can work. One of the things that's happening in digital environments in a lot of universities is you'll have four and five students together in the same class mm -hmm. receiving lecture notes. They will open a common document and they will all take notes in a common document. So they correct each other or supplement each other and then the four or five students have a consistent set of notes. Mm -hmm. There is Blackboard software on here. They can directly go into their Blackboard accounts, look up and submit their homework. This is literally, this is, there is actually more power in this iPad Pro than the total amount of computing power used to send the first Apollo to the moon. Sounds That's like we're going to come. save a lot of trees. We are. We are hoping to go completely paperless. Now, I, I was very surprised this picture was taken last week or thereabouts, and I, I took the picture and I said, oh, wait a minute, I thought she, she's got a book there. But this is ongoing, developing. More and more, there'll be less and less of those books. What happened with this, you're absolutely right. What happened with this is this. We made the commitment with Apple, with DSU, to do this during the middle of the summer this year. Mm -hmm. President Mishu and Provost Allen said, we're not going to wait. We're going to start now. Mm -hmm. Now, at that point, you've already got classes scheduled. You've already got books right. ordered, all those things. So you're looking at kind of a hybrid transition. Mm -hmm. And the professors are using this year to experiment with it. But look at that textbook for a moment and think about it this way. Mm -hmm. By next year, we expect 80%, 80 plus percent of all of our courses by fall of 2019 and 90 plus percent of our incoming freshman and sophomore general education courses to have e-textbooks as the primary textbook. Mm -hmm. What that means to that young lady over the course of four years is that even allowing for, and we'll talk about how it's paid for, but even allowing for paying for the iPad, she can expect to save over three to four years, three to $4,000 in textbooks costs. And that's an average. If mm -hmm. she's in one of the higher expense majors, like she's studying in our airway science department to become a pilot, she can expect to pay, save five to $7,000 in textbooks by going to digital. Okay, now we're getting close to, close to the end of this show, so I wanna make sure. Uh, this is a pilot program, and by what you just explained there, it was uh, decided upon and launched into uh, at a time when we could not charge the students for this. So they're, they're getting a gift basically this semester, right? No, this entire first year. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> but in the future, moving forward, okay, how is the university going to cover the cost of this program? This will be bundled into the students' tech fees, which are bundled into tuition and payments, and they will literally have paid them as a part of their regular bill, as we intend if, if the plans that we're working on now completely come to fruition, so will their digital textbook costs before they step foot on campus, which actually means when a student who's been here comes back onto campus, they can walk onto campus and their textbooks, their digital textbooks, mm -hmm. based on their schedule and their D number, will be pushed directly to their iPad. They won't have to do anything. They open up their iPad the first time they come back on campus, and bam, all their course textbooks will actually be there. So they don't have to, what's this gonna mean for our bookstore? Our bookstore is very involved in this. The, the digital textbook process comes through what we're, what's called Inside Ed, and they're working through our bookstore. Our bookstore becomes the manager and the bundler and okay. everything else. Plus, there are going to be, for the foreseeable future, in certain upper level classes, certain, I don't want to call them obscure texts, but highly technical texts for which there's not a huge nationwide demand, there's still going to be some paper textbooks. Mm -hmm. Inevitably, there. there's also going to be, let's face it, you don't do an oil painting class in art digitally. You have to have art supplies and do real oil. If you're doing equine husbandry, you can't feed the horses digitally. So listen, I'm sure that you guys are assessing and measuring uh, the effectiveness of this pilot program. Have you already decided you're moving forward uh, after this year or are you measuring this year and that decision has to be made? We're doing both. The commitment was made to digital 
learning environment. The, the pilot program with Apple was put together. That was the best combination of technology. Apple is also providing us massive training. Our challenge this year for our faculty is to move very rapidly in one year to where we transform a substantial amount of our course delivery into a purely digital environment, okay. which is also giving a hybrid course. That's the challenge. And that's, that's the key, and the key is providing resources. Okay. And one of the things I want to say is part of the reason that Apple is providing this is Apple has made a massive commitment to professional development for our faculty. Okay. They're going to be on campus helping us train okay. our faculty throughout the year. Okay. Well, Dr. Newton, thank you so much for helping to explain this. This is exciting. It this is, it really is exciting. exciting. We're on the cutting edge, aren't we? We certainly are. Okay, this is Delaware State University on the cutting edge with digital learning, this digital learning initiative. It's going to be exciting. Why? Thank you for being on my show, Dr. Newton. And thank you for joining me for another segment of DSU Inside Perspective. Everyone have a good day.